If you weren't shopping for headphones in the past couple of years, you probably saw this logo. Made for Apple. Now, the headphones in my hands had that logo. Before telling you what they are, you would probably make a couple of the following guesses. Siri integration, maybe. Nope, they're not smart. Uh, Bluetooth features with iOS. Nope, they're not even Bluetooth. Maybe a lightning cable then, with uh, the MFI chip, so it has the supported Apple device as well. Nope, they're normal headphones. 3.5 mil wired jack. So what makes these headphones so special to be made for Apple? Well, today we're gonna to explain why this headphone jack and these headphones are made for Apple. Let's get into it. So why is this headphone jack specifically made for Apple? Well, when we talk about headphone jacks, there's three types. There's TS, TRS, and TRRS. T stands for tip, R stands for ring, and S stands for sleeve. The variety that they come in will signify either a mono connection, a stereo connection, or a stereo with microphone, and or inline controls. These guys. If you have a microphone on your headphones, most likely it's gonna be just one of these connectors. Tip, ring, ring, sleeve. The three lines help break up the mechanics of the headphone. So on our normal mono, we're gonna have a positive and neutral or ground. Then you're gonna have a positive for left, positive for right, and a neutral for a tip ring sleeve connector, that's your stereo connector. And these ones, well, there's two types. This usually goes positive for your left, positive for your right, then your, oh, it's hard to remember. It's like mic and then ground, or it could be ground and then mic. There's two flavors. Let me just bring them back up here on my computer. That was another Apple joke, if you remember. This is an iPad Pro. And yes, before any Apple fanboy goes in the comments and goes, oh, Cam, you just hate Apple. You're picking on them for no good reason. Yeah, this is an iPad Pro. So I've got Apple products. I just hate some of the things that they decide to do. Okay, so when it comes to microphone headphone jacks, there's two types and there's no way to tell them unless you have like a multimeter. There's CTIA, which is left, right, ground, then mic. Or there's OMTP, which are usually found in older devices, left, right, microphone, then ground. iPhones need to be CTIA, that's Apple's usage. That's not exclusive to Apple though, that's just become a standard. What is exclusive to Apple is how the microphone and inline controls work. So this is where things got a little bit confusing for me and I got pretty annoyed trying to figure this out. So how does it work? Well, I've got a web page here that I'll link in the description below and it's the Android breakdown of the headset jack. I'll show you the one that Apple makes, but I, they don't make one. Android is fully transparent. You don't even need a dev login to view this information and it's going to break down what happens when you plug a headphone into a headphone jack and what these different tip ring sleeves and inline microphone controls will actually do. So there's a few functions of a headphone. Obviously it has stereo audio out, makes sound. It has a microphone coming in, if it's that TRRS flavor, and it obviously has a grounding pin, wherever that is located. Software mapping is the next part, and that is defining when you have an app, what happens when you press the button. So you, as an app developer, same thing with iOS, no doubt with Xcode, can say when someone presses the middle button on the remote, pause the music. And if someone presses the volume up on the remote, turn the volume up. You can define what those buttons do. The interesting part though is the mechanical. Here it's going to define that you can have a CTIA, which we talked about before is the way that it's mic and then ground, or OMTP, which would then be ground and mic, connection on your phone. And that is going to be supported by the manufacturer. So my Galaxy, I'm pretty sure supports both. I plugged multiple headphones in and had no issues. Apple, we know, only supports CTIA, TRRS jacks. But it goes further than that. It's not, is it this type of jack, yes or no? It's how does the actual function work? 
And this is the whole function impedance and threshold detection section. And it's super interesting. So function A, which we saw in the software development part, that is your play pause. That's this middle button here on the inline remotes. For that to be picked up by the phone, there's actually resistors built into this inline button control. So it's going to place 70 ohms or less of resistance on the mic and ground signal line and the phone's gonna pick that resistance up and go, hey, someone's pressed a button. This is super cool. So function D, if we go and look at function D, that's going to be our voice assistant command. So it's gonna trigger a voice assistant. So if your headphones have that specific button, it's gonna place between 110 and 180 ohms of resistance on the line. Function B is gonna be up here and that's gonna be our volume up and function C is gonna be volume down. So that's gonna be 210 to 290 ohms and 360 to 680 ohms for function C. The part that Apple butchered is this part. This part here is open, anyone can use it. It's a kind of a standard and it seems to be general for most headphones. But if they're made for Apple, they don't do this. They have a complicated sequence. They have a magic sequence, a special sequence or pattern that happens that when you press volume up or volume down, it then sends that down the line through the mic and ground port to the phone. So this doesn't work with Android or pretty much any device that isn't an Apple device. What does work still is the main button, the pause and stop, which is good. And that's awesome that that still works. And this is what annoys me about Apple and ruining standards. Yes, have your lightning. Yes, have your 30 pin connection, but don't screw up something as simple as a headphone jack, an aux cable. Everyone knows it, 3.5 mil. It's a traditional standard of lossless audio, but they've still managed to butcher it and make it hush hush as to how it works with their devices. So then why is this the death of made for Apple? Well, with all the devices slowly removing the headphone jack, my iPad Pro still has it, thankfully, this standard, I guess, will be disappearing. We're not gonna see this on headphones anymore as they're all moving towards Bluetooth as well. And MacBook Pros, I guess, will still maybe have a headphone jack, uh, but people needing to buy specific headphones to control their music with their MacBook, probably not really needed. You, you're already on your computer. It'd be interesting to know if how many of you have struggled with getting that to work. And if you knew why, like the whole impedance level for volume up and volume down on a set of headphones. If you liked today's video, give it a thumbs up down below. And if you loved it, consider clicking subscribe. I make tech videos every week and I'd love to see you back here again. Until then, while well, I post daily Instagram stories of all the behind the scenes of creating these videos. And I've got a couple more videos on the screen here that you could watch right now. Hope you enjoy them and I'll see you next week. Bye.